guys welcome back okay so it's time for me to start using this shop my stash stuff okay so i have all of my makeup situated i think i'm gonna try to do it for two weeks i'm gonna try to use the same products i started out saying a week but i don't think that's long enough so i'm gonna try to do two weeks for my shop my stash so i might have to pick a couple of more palettes but we'll see that's neither here nor there Today is Jam Rock Day, okay? Hello, Jam Rock. So this is the Jam Rock No Limitations palette. Oh, I have no idea what I'm gonna do today, you guys. I haven't even thought about it. Haven't even figured it out. This green down here is gorgeous. This blue is gorgeous. But I already have a blue-green palette for this week, so... I might end up in this region somehow today, but we'll see. Either way it goes, I'm excited because it's a lot of color and I get to play with it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to start out with this Bare Minerals Brilliant Future. This is the Age Defense Serum. So I'm going to put some of this on my face. Face is clean, washed, all that good stuff. I'm going to put some of this on so it can kind of soak in while I'm doing my brows. You guys know I picked my e.l.f. brow pencil to use this week. So I don't remember what color this is, but it'll be in the description box. And I'm gonna clean it up with my Wet n Wild concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right quick and then we will move on to these eyes, okay? And this stuff smells really good. Mm -hmm. Feels good too. Really? I gotta run out today, huh? <laughs> Good thing I have a backup. So you guys know, I basically have to draw on brows because, hello. <laughs> I don't have any brows, so I basically have to try and draw on brows every time I sit down. But the thing I like about this pencil is it's really easy. I mean, it fills in quickly, easily, nicely, and I don't really fuss over my brows too much anyway, so this pencil is just really, really easy for that. Okay, so now that I have the basic shape of my brows, I'm gonna clean it up with the concealer. Okay, you guys, so that's as good as the brows are gonna get for now. And I chose this Bad Habit eyeshadow primer to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on my lids and blend it out. So I'm just using a big, thick brush to blend it out all over my lid. Y'all know I don't like using my fingers. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. You guys might hear my dog in the background because he cutting up today. So he out there barking at anybody within 10 feet of the house. Okay, so I think I'm going to stay in like the kind of red, purplish, burgundy zone. So I'm going to start out with this shade here. I'm just putting a little bit of that on my brush so I can blow it out in my crease. And that's pigmented. I'll have to see how I like this eyeshadow primer. Um, since I've been using concealer and not really setting it, I can already tell the difference with this eyeshadow primer. It's nothing wrong with it. It's just a lot drier than when I'm using concealer. And you guys, I'm just barely tapping into the palette 
just to get a little bit of color because I don't want it to go crazy. These shadows are so pigmented that you can get a lot of color very quickly, very easily. So <laughs> it's like, if you don't want your eye look to run away from you, you gotta take your time with these shadows. See, I didn't wanna go that high up with that one, but it's what we working with. <laughs> Okay, so next I'm gonna go into this shade here and just kind of blow some of that out right on top of that pink. I really like how you can distinctly see those two colors. They're not just kind of blending into each other. I can actually see the two different colors. Now to add a little bit of depth Perfect. to the outer corners. I'm not gonna do inner two. Yeah, the inner and outer corners. I'm gonna take this beautiful purple shade here and just tap a little bit of that in the corners. just a little bit and as you can see I'm just barely dragging it into that crease just trying to make sure those colors blend nicely oh that's so pretty honestly you guys I feel like I could just take my plain and makeup by Yolando palettes and my be for be perfect palette and my Natasha Denona palette and I'd be happy <laughs> Just the pigmentation and the blendability is just crazy. Y'all know I'm a sucker for color, so if it has the pigmentation and I can blend the colors and layer the colors, it's just... <sighs> okay guys, so let's go ahead and see what's happening with these shimmers. Um, I didn't even swatch this palette yet. I will insert some swatches at some point during this video. <laughs> but this gold shimmer right here, that is what's calling my name. Yeah, so I think that gold shimmer is going to be the star of the day. I'm gonna spray my brush. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, this is one brand that is just not talked about, not seen, not used as much as she should be, in my opinion. I mean, if you like color, pigment, oh, honey. So now I just wanna go back into the orangey red shade that's on the top and just tap a little bit of that right next to that gold. It's not gonna show up much, but I wanna create a little bit of a gradient look before I put the dark purple in the outer corner. And now just going in with the darker purple. Okay, you guys, when I was doing my shot, my stash, I forgot to grab a liquid eyeliner. I grabbed a black pencil liner, but not a black liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to grab my NYX and do that. And then we'll come right back and start on the face. Okay, you guys, eyeliner is on. So I'm gonna move on to my face. I already did my serum, so it's nicely soaked into my skin. Now I'm going to go in with my Saturday Skin. This is the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. So this is the one that I picked to use, and this is what it looks like. And I really, really like how these type of moisturizers look and feel. I like that kind of water cream consistency. Ugh. And it doesn't smell like anything either. That was a lot, you guys. It doesn't even seem like I put a lot on, but that was a lot. Okay, so that's soaked into my skin really nicely. 
gave me a nice healthy glow it feels really good i could definitely see myself just putting that on my face in the morning after washing and stuff on my no makeup days and just really having a nice beautiful radiant glow so very nice okay for primer i have my revolution pore blur primer i've only used this once so far and i really like it um i think i already mentioned that it really it kind of let me go ahead and kind of shake this up a little bit because it does kind of separate a little bit in this tube and so you know you'll get like a little bit of a watery mess if you don't blend it out first or if you don't shake it up or kind of squeeze it around in the tube first but i think i mentioned um so this is what that looks like but I think I mentioned when I was grabbing this that it kind of reminded me of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now with me moisturizing my skin so much, it's kind of a nice combination for me when I use kind of like a blurring, mattifying primer <laughs> on top of extremely moisturized skin. I don't know, I just like the way it feels because it's like, it blurs, but then my skin is still moisturized. It doesn't feel dry and patchy. It just feels really good. Like, um, I think I'm gonna go with ABH today. You guys, isn't this so cute? This is so cute. I got this off of Amazon because I was tired of my sponges just kind of laying around everywhere. And you guys know I love acrylic. But I saw this on Amazon. It was so stinking cute. And, you know, it holds your little beauty blenders or sponges. And it has holes in there so that if they're wet, you know, they can dry while they're sitting in here. So there's holes in this. And it's cute. So it just hold your little beauty sponges. I like it. Okay. <laughs> so this is what 490W looks like. It's the closest shade they had to me. So I just work it out. The finish is just so nice. Okay, so this is the scary part. I got this pretty vulgar concealer in my BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna try this out. I think I'm just gonna try it under my eyes maybe and on my forehead. Let's see what the color looks like. Wow, that color is very close to my foundation shade and skin tone, so. Yeah, this is one that I would use strictly for concealing, not for highlighting. So, but it doesn't feel too bad. It's a little bit thinner than I'm used to. So, let me just use a little bit of this for these dark circles. It smells a little bit like paint though. It kind of has that old wet and wild foundation smell to it. But it feels like it might be kind of luminous. Perfect. 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 Yeah. It looks very, <laughs> very luminous. I'm not really into luminous concealers, obviously. It's okay, because I have on a illuminating or a luminous foundation right now, so it's not that big of a deal. But if I had on a matte foundation and I was really going for a matte look, then I probably wouldn't like it. But yeah, this is definitely skin tone shade just for concealing not for highlighting at all for me as you can see 
So let's go ahead and powder this up. I'm working to finish my Becca Hydra Mist powder. So I'm going to just powder under my eyes and around my mouth and use my Kiss Professional powder to set the rest of my face. Okay, see, knock that shine right on out. But my skin still feels nicely moisturized. Oh, I'm loving it. Now I haven't used this in a while, so hopefully this doesn't mess my whole face. <laughs> but yeah, I've been using my Too Faced so long, you never know how you're gonna feel about a powder when you go back to it after using something you love for so long. And I'm gonna use my new it cosmetics brush okay so we're gonna see how this one does <laughs> okay it's nice it feels like i'm gonna have to break it in a little bit it's a little stiff but it feels very nice Okay, a little bronzer. So I'm gonna use my Minted and ABF. This is the collab bronzer and highlighter duo that they came out with. And this one is season two. These bronzers really aren't that noticeable. As you can see, this is the darker one. I mean, yeah, you can see it, but they're not like anything super wild and crazy. I'm surprised they didn't come out with one that's slightly darker than this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into my Carity Contour Kit and hmm, I think I'm gonna try this one out first and just try and contour a little bit around on my cheekbones and my chin area. And I'm really not that big on contour because I don't like that cool tone look, but I need to add a little bit more definition to my face today since I didn't highlight under my eyes. Yeah, so as you can see, you can see that contour, but it's very, very gray, very cool tone. I do not like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Okay, so now I'm gonna check out this highlight. This highlight was broken and I had to repress it, so that's why it looks kind of crazy, but if I remember correctly, oh yeah, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight in here. Very, very pretty. So I'm gonna use that for my highlight and put a little bit on my brow bone also. Okay, so I definitely picked a nicely pigmented highlighter for this week. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that is bright okay so for blush today i have my bh cosmetics glowing in grease palette this palette also has highlighters but of course i don't need that today so i'm gonna go into this darkest blush here and just tap a little bit of that on my cheeks
and there is shimmer in this blush as you can see which I usually don't like shimmery blushes but this one is actually kind of pretty it's like it's making my highlight pop even more hello <laughs> Okay, so for my lower lash line, I don't think I'm gonna do color today. I'm just going to use this L'Oreal Silk Kissing Me Eyeliner Pencil in black. Perfect. Perfect. This pencil is really nice. It just glides on. I'm just trying to be careful not to put too much on but it's really nice. It glides on like silk. I don't even know if they still make these. Like I said, I think I got mine from TJ Maxx, so I don't know. I really like it. I've had it for a long time. Okay, lower lash line. Back into the Jam Rock No Limits palette. I think I wanna go into this purple up here on my lower lash line. It's kind of like a satin, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it's like a satin. So I wanna do something a little different and put some of that on my lower lash line. Now I'm really, really tempted to go into this bright shimmery green up here. Oh, it's so pretty and put that in my inner corner yep I'm doing it <laughs> I'm doing it I think this green shimmer is my favorite shadow in the whole palette. Oh my gosh, that is popping. Hello, okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going in with some of my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. Okay guys, so for lips today, I'm going to be using one of the Revolution lipsticks that I chose for Shop My Stash. Let's take a look at these colors. So these are the colors. And honestly, with this eye look, I could probably get away with any of these. Hmm. But I'm kind of feeling this one. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I'm going to go, oh, do I? Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know what the name of it is. It's too small, so it will be in the description box below. <laughs> and to line my lips, I'm gonna use my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Pencil. And for setting spray, I'm using this Cover Effect sample that I received in one of my orders. Okay, you guys, so this is the face for today and the eyes using this Jamrock No Limitations palette, okay? Uh, I love it. I'm not surprised <laughs> because I really, really love all of her palettes, but the shimmers on the lid, the pop in the inner corner, and the pigmentation of the mattes, it's just, it's bomb, okay? Only reason, like I said, I didn't go into these blues and greens is because I already have a blue and green palette that I'm gonna use this week, but yeah, I like this palette. <laughs> so 
this is the face of the day. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please hit like, comment. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!